Bob has agreed to submit to the tribal test by fire. But the witch doctor has ordered Jake to shoot Bob down should the latter succeed in climbing from the Valley of Fire. has broken our Zach law. Seize him. play of Jake's? Not if he got rid of Bob Moore. He got rid of himself. That makes one less to cut in on the treasure we're going to get. Here it is. He has returned alive with sacred breast. Since he has survived test, he spoke truth. Which doctor lied? Angushwan! If they kill the witch doctor, we'll never learn what we want to know. I'm mighty glad you're back, Bob. <laughs> stand before the chief. It's the order of the chief, my father, that your lives be spared, even though you came to our village and are aware of the entrance. Because of this, and because there has been nothing but trouble and death since you came into our village, 
It's order that you must go at once and never return again. If you do not obey, death is the penalty. Zara, you saw those people go after the witch doctor. What does that trail lead to? Why do you still try to help them? They've lied to you. They've even tried to have you killed. Can't you see all they want is the jewels? Is that not what you want? Oh, no, definitely no. We want that fungus, the medicine. Not for our own gain, but to save lives. Our motive is unselfish, but theirs isn't. Look, you can't do anything alone. Even your own natives have turned against you. You need help. Here we offer ours. Come with me. Father and the others are outside will be anxious for us. We'd better be getting back. Yeah, we'd better. It's just like Jodica busting in here and get the Arzacs all riled up again. <laughs> Show us where the treasure is. Then we'll leave here and take you with us. All right, get going. He'll do it. There's no other way out for him. So. The treasure of the Arzacs is down there. How do we get to it? Let's bust in after them. Bob said to wait till we heard from them. I know he did, but maybe he's in the jam and needs help. Well, we don't know where to go. Look, you said that you came out of that cave with Bob and Cora, so it sure must be a way in. It's blocked inside by a huge rock. Well, at least I can get that far anyhow. I'm getting tired sitting around here doing nothing. There's no harm in that. We can keep him covered while he goes in. Now you're talking. Uh, if I'm not back in a half hour, come and get me. Oh, 
Well, okay, Joe, come on in. What gives? It's a lucky thing I headed you off. I knew you'd come charging here into trouble. Where's trouble? All over. Well, the... Uh, hello. Come. Is she on our side now? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Is it in there? No, you lead the way. From the volcano. It never will die down. If that's where the treasure and the fungus are. Hey, that witch doctor guy was carrying a big jar. He's gone back towards the village. Well, let's get after it. Hey, there's nobody here. The Arzics have all gone. Yeah, where? I wonder why. The village is no longer hidden. They've probably gone to find another. Fungus and alive. I'll be able to grow it from this. Isn't this where we came in? As I've said a dozen times, that's what I like about this country. Yeah. You never know who your enemies are. Look. Oh.
Uh-uh. No more matching. It's your turn to fix the tire. My turn to fix the tire. What's on your mind? Oh, I just happened to think of something. How will I explain to my girl about buying things for another girl? Bring her back here with you. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Then I won't have to write that book. <laughs> She's the only one that'll read it anyway. Sure. Oh, and she loves to read. One... Looks as though your experiment has worked out splendidly, Doctor. Splendid hardly describes, Dan. The specimen I've planted proves that we can raise the fungus in sufficient quantities to save thousands of lives. Now all that remains is for Bob to take it back to civilization. And it looks like that won't be long. Well, that's it. Everything's packed. We're leaving here with more junk than we brought in. But wait until I give my girl in Brooklyn that set of furs from that lion's in. <laughs> Are you going to tell her you killed the lion, Joe? Now she can read all about it in the book that Joe's going to write. <laughs> well, good luck, son. Thanks, Dad. And a pleasant journey. We'll be back before you know it, with all the equipment you need and the report from the Medical Society. And I hope it's favorable. It will be. Anne, Dr. Reed, hope the trading post will be a big success. Thank you. Anne and I will show a profit after all those great scientists begin showing up to talk to your father. <laughs> Don't you forget to bring back the things I asked you to bring. That's in Joe's department. What? Me buy things for a girl to wear? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why not ask that young lady from Brooklyn to help you? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> well, good luck, Tom. And take good care of him until we get back. I certainly will. Right. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Good luck. Bye, boys. Bye. Good luck.